Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over Bruta. Bruta is a Barbar Clerker who appears and holds a very important role after the events of the Precursor Legacy. If you want to know more about the Barbar Clerker, I have made an overview video on them and will have a link in the description. Being that Bruta is a Barbark, he shares the same characteristics as them, with the exception of his suit. It looks like it was once originally owned by a human, as you can see it has torn and his fur is bulging through the arms. He also wears a pair of glasses, possibly from the same source as the suit, and an animal pelt around his neck. In what seems to be an attempt to appear more human, he has arranged two feathers on his head. They resemble the elf-like ears of the humans, and he has also combed the long unruly mane into a much more tidy styled haircut. The more apparent difference between Bruta and the other Barbucks is his ability to talk. Look! Bruta just knew friends would need lift if better letters You can see that he is still learning proper grammar by some of the phrases he uses. You help lurkers once time, you help us twos? Look, Bruta. I often wonder the origins of how he learned how to speak. I like to think it is similar to the way Meowth learned how to in Pokemon, by observing the humans and copying them. Bruta also walks and stands more upright than the other lurkers, and you can see him quickly moving with ease around his trinket stand. The first time we see Bruta chronologically is in Daxter. His fish cannery has an infestation of metal bugs that we are called in to clear out. Bruta is very happy to see Daxter, and refers to him as his little orangey pal. Oh, so sorry little orangey pal. Me, Bruta. In Jack 2, Bruta has a trinket stand and sells fish in the market. He also holds a role as the civil advocate for the liberty of lurkers. We help him rescue and free lurkers that are going to be used as slave labour. In return, he tells us the location of a seal piece and brings his balloons to transport the Rift Rider to the Metalhead Nest. After Jack 2, Bruta becomes the new captain of the Crimson Guard that we see Ashlyn reference later on in the game. Your transport is ready, milady. Thank you, Captain Bruder. Come on, we'll be late for the party at Daxter's new place. Although he is just a minor support character, the times he does show up are very important to the story, and things would not have gone anywhere as smoothly as they did without his help. And that's the overview of Bruder and his role in the games. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.